In the wild, there are no mistakes, only adaptations. No wasted efforts, only purpose. No quick fixes, only time-tested wisdom. What if I told you that the key to designing your best future is already written in the patterns of rivers, the wings of a dragonfly, and the roots of a tree? Welcome to Biomimicry for Life, where we learn not just from nature, but with nature, rooted in nature, driven by purpose. Biomimicry comes from the Greek words bios meaning life and mimesis meaning to imitate. It's the practice of looking to nature's time-tested designs, then applying those solutions to human challenges. From architecture to technology, from leadership to personal growth, biomimicry teaches us how to thrive in harmony with our environment. But today, we're not just talking about technology. We're exploring how you can design your own future the way nature does with purpose, patience, and patterns that work. In nature, there is adaptability over control, nothing stays the same. The seasons shift, storms roll in, habitats change, but nature doesn't resist, it adapts. The chameleon doesn't panic, it transforms. The river doesn't force a straight path, it curves with grace. Lesson for us? Stop obsessing over controlling every outcome. Design your future to respond, not resist. Build habits that bend, goals that evolve, and systems that can absorb change. Nature shows us, the most adaptable survive, not the most rigid. Nature is a master of efficiency without waste. A beehive is a marvel of geometry, maximum storage, minimum materials. A cheetah doesn't sprint just for fun. It moves only when it matters. Ask yourself, what in your life is taking more energy than it's worth? What relationships, routines, or regrets are draining your resources? Design your future like a beehive, purposeful, clean, and efficient. Strip away the unnecessary, focus on what works, and let go of what doesn't serve. We often hear survival of the fittest, but nature prefers survival of the most connected. That is collaboration over competition. Coral reefs thrive on biodiversity. Ants build empires through teamwork. Trees in forests share nutrients through underground networks of fungi. Your future is not a solo journey. Who are your ecosystem allies? Are you building a community or burning bridges? Nature teaches us, those who give, grow, collaborate, uplift others, build something together. In the forest, growth is never rushed. A seed takes years, decades to become a giant. Nature doesn't hurry, yet everything gets done. That's to say patience is power. In your life, stop chasing the illusion of overnight success. True transformation takes time. Be like the bamboo, which spends years building roots before it ever breaks ground. When you build your future with deep roots, it will stand even through the fiercest storms. Nature doesn't just grow, it regenerates. After fire comes rebirth. After drought, comes the rain. In your life, growth is not linear. There will be seasons of burnout, heartbreak, failure. But if you design your future like nature, you'll bounce back even stronger. Take breaks, rest, regrow. Healing is a strategy just like growth. Here's how to begin designing your life like nature. One journal like a scientist track your patterns, energy, and responses. Two, build daily rituals rooted in rhythm, not force. Three, create sustainable systems, budget like a beaver, sleep like a lion. Four, choose community over isolation, your survival depends on it. Five, simplify, nature doesn't hoard, it thrives on balance. Hey you, nature has already done the hard work. Over billions of years, it has tested what works and what doesn't. Why reinvent the wheel? when you can simply observe the spiral of a snail shell. Why chase every trend, when the tree has always grown upward, grounded in stillness? So the question is, are you designing your life in alignment with nature, or against it? Choose rhythm over rush, adaptability over anxiety, purpose over pressure. Because when your life is rooted in nature, your future becomes unstoppable. This is your reminder, you are not separate from nature, you are nature.